Solve the following equations algebraically. Find all real and imaginary solutions. Part A is 12x to the negative second power plus x to the negative first power minus 1 equals 0. These are the types of equations that are almost quadratic, but they're not quite quadratic. However, if we do a substitution, we might be able to turn it into something that is quadratic. So for instance, if I let u equal x to the negative first power, then if you'll notice, I can rewrite this equation 12x to the negative first squared, because that would reduce as x to the uh, negative second, plus x to the negative first minus 1 equals 0. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute all of those x to the negative 1 powers with the variable u. So I have 12u squared plus u minus 1 equals 0. After that, now I have something that is quadratic and I can solve this using uh, possibly factoring. I may have to resort to the quadratic formula or completing the square. Now, I'm going to try factoring first because that's easiest. And let's see. Um, I know that two things that multiply to 1 would be 1 and 1. To get them to be negative 1, I would need you know, either uh, positive 1 and a negative 1, negative 1 and positive 1. I'll get to the signs in just a moment. For 12, I could either have 1 and 12, 6 and 2, or 3 and 4. So I have a lot of different options. Um, I'm going to try 3 and 4. So I'm going to write 3u and 4u. The reason I'm trying that is because I want to make sure my middle term adds up to uh, positive u, which means they have to be close, the factors have to be close together for that to happen. And I think this will work as long as that's a minus and that's a plus. Because what will happen now is when I take 3u times 4u, that gives me 12u squared. And when I take 3u times negative 1, that's negative 3u. 1 times 4u is plus 4u. And 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And this will, in fact, reduce to 12u squared plus u minus 1. So that's the factorization that I'm looking for. And it's always good when you get the factors to just double check them. So I can take each one of these factors now and set them equal to 0. So that I find 3u equals negative 1 or u equals negative 1 third and 4u equals positive 1 or u equals 1 fourth. Now, um, to finish this problem, I'm going to come over here. So I had u equals negative 1 third and u equals 1 fourth. I need to substitute back in for x. And I know that u is equal to x to the negative 1 power, so that means x to the negative 1 equals negative 1 third, and x to the negative 1 equals 1 fourth. Now, x to the negative 1 means 1 over x. Remember, we learned about uh, negative exponents, uh, meaning to take the term into the denominator. So that's what's happening here. Now, I can solve this by cross-multiplication. So if I take x times negative 1, I have negative x equals 3. Or over here, x equals 4. So I have x equals negative 3 and x equals 4 as the solutions to my original problem.